Well, back now on Eyewitness News, you're looking live at Atlantic City. It's hotter and more humid than yesterday. A good day certainly to be down the shore. Larissa joins us and you're tracking some uh, storms for later this week? Yeah, that's right. We are tracking some storms as we head towards tomorrow, Wednesday. That's going to bring relief from all of this heat. And I think people will like the second half of the forecast. Before today, poor air quality. That's probably the number one story. I'm sure you noticed the fiery sunrise this morning. We're going to get to do that all over again. That sunset's going to be fine. And it's because of all of the smoke and haze that's currently in our air. And that has prompted a poor air quality alert across parts of our region. Now, by tonight, we'll have a few storms try to develop north and west of the city. I'm thinking more up in the mountains is a better shot to see a few of those storms develop. And then by tomorrow, it's fair game for just about everyone. It's going to be scattered, and we'll show you that in a moment. But that's going to give way to a beautiful Thursday, Friday. The weekend looks split because Saturday still looks looks nice and dry, but by Sunday, rain chances quickly return. Here's a live look downtown Bethlehem, and just like down the shore, it's hazy everywhere from the mountains to the shore over towards Delaware as well. It looks like it's overcast out there, but the truth is it's just all of that haze that's gripped our region. Temperatures are in the 70s and 80s for the most part, 76 in Mount Pocono. It's 80 in Easton. If you're in Allentown, it's currently 80 degrees there, 85 closer to the city, feeling a little bit warmer because because of that higher dew point. And if you're just further south, we're talking widespread 80s, still really, really comfortable along the shore. 82 degrees on a July afternoon. Doesn't get much better than that. Ocean City, 83 down in Cape May. For Hobith Beach, 80 degrees, just absolutely gorgeous. If you're closer to the city, we're dealing with the high heat. It's still a bit muggy, not as bad as it was last week, but the humidity is definitely there. And notice your hour by hour, we do remain hot here, even through that 6 o'clock hour, as temperature will still be in the 90s. Once the sun goes down, we'll still be quite warm at 84 degrees by 9, 80 degrees by 11, and temperatures do bottom out eventually in the low 70s later tonight. Precip chances over the next several days. Notice how we're bumping it up to around 45% by Wednesday afternoon, and then we are drier for the next few days, and Thursday, and Friday look fantastic. Take a look at future weather. Here's a little bit of rain that we're watching for later on tonight. That fizzles out, but by tomorrow afternoon, as early as 12, really, we're going to see scattered showers begin to develop. Keep in mind, any one of these storms can pack a punch, leading to heavy rain, frequent lightning, but the number one concern will be damaging wind gusts. By 7 p.m., we are completely dry, and cooler air begins to funnel in. Winds will be shifting. They'll be coming in out of the northwest, and we're tracking low humidity both Thursday, Friday, a little bit more muggy to start off the weekend. But I'm not complaining, Jim. Temps in the 80s starting Thursday, I'm happy. And I am too. If you're happy, <laughs> I'm happy. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Larissa. Appreciate it.